a prophetic word about the 2020 presidential elections by Martha E. Newcomb, a Lightworks Ministry video. On November 2nd, 2020, God revealed to me who would be the next president and why. Warning, before you watch this video, pray and ask God to give you wisdom and discernment. Sometimes our biases, assumptions, pride, or our flesh can get in the way. So it is important that you hear with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I understand some may get offended or become upset with me, but that is the chance I must take. I must obey God no matter what. That is why I ask that you go to God in prayer first. But this is a word for the body of Christ and I must deliver it. I wrote it down, sent the message in an email to myself, and I waited and prayed for God to give me the okay to release it. Now is that time. Now I'm going to quickly show you the actual email that I got because I want you to know that I didn't um, uh, make this up or conjure it up or um, wait till um, the results of the election came out. I did get this um, prophetic word on November 2nd and every time I get a prophetic word I send it to myself so I have the exact date and know when it was given to me and I do that for my personal records so I'm going to show you that and explain it to you right now now I will read to you what it says date November 2nd 2020 I wrote this in advance the day before the elections to reveal to you what God has revealed to me. The word. God expressed to me that Biden will win this election in 2020. This will also be a time that he exposed and deal with the church for believing false prophets and allowing themselves to be deceived by wolves who seek only political gain and power. Just like when Moses went up to be with God, the people got tired of waiting and deceived themselves by making their own golden calf to worship. Instead of waiting for God, they made their own idol. That is what the church body has done out of Trump. Instead of waiting on God, trusting him and obeying his instruction, the church has made Trump an idol without even realizing it. They have chosen to abandon God's truth and holiness for false prophecies and a political man that does not represent Christ, but his own selfish ambitions. He also revealed to me that it is time that the Christian church wake up and stop looking to man for change, but to God and repent for putting their trust in a single man. For it is God and only through God that this country can be saved from destruction. For it is only God that can deal with the heart and the pride of man. It is only through his power, not by any political force, that breaks the yoke of bondage. It is only through his spirit that deception can be exposed and open the eyes of those who do not yet know the truth of Christ Jesus. He instructed us and reminds us of something we should not forget as Christians. Lastly, it is only when us as the body of Christ fix our eyes on Jesus, pray, and seriously get in our Bibles and obey our mandate to fulfill the great commission that we will see a great move of God. And no man, he emphasized this with me greatly, and no man can take credit for this work, but only God. God does not want to share his glory with Trump. He does not want to share his glory with Biden. The glory belongs to him, and that's what he emphasized to me when he gave me this word. For God will not share his glory with no man. All glory must go to God. And that was in the message. My last words are this. I honestly was not planning on making a video about this, but the urgency was strong that I could not wait. Some of you have been questioning the results of the voting or thought Trump would win. Some of you may be angry or confused. However, it is God who places who he wants in authority 
and he does not want to share his glory with no man. He wants us to remember that he is the only answer for this world and the only one that can save it. No policy or politician, only him because he is God. This isn't a Republican issue or a Democrat issue, brothers and sisters. Let's stop fighting. This is a heart issue. We honestly need to search ourselves and ask ourselves, did we make Trump an idol? Where did we go wrong? Did we put too much faith and trust in what man can do instead of looking to God? It's time to go to the altar, brothers and sisters, and really evaluate ourselves. It's time to realign ourselves with God's will and to fix our eyes on Jesus. Repent and remember who sits on the throne. In the end, it's not about Trump or Biden, but about our almighty God who has always been and is still in control. Therefore, we should praise God and give him all the glory because he is worthy of it all. God bless.